That's not even that big. What a turn of events. <laughs> Plot twist. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, that's funny. Can we talk about the weather? Uh, Do you really want to now? Really? Yes. You don't want to talk? Sure, gladly. Hold on. You don't want to talk about what you brought up? <laughs> right? Yeah, that's what I'm is saying. that what you're saying? Talk about the weather oh, so right now. Change the subject. Oh, your face is a little red, too, there. <laughs> Can we talk about the weather? Sure. Yeah, our producer, Emery, just said rap. Oh. Yeah. Like we ever listened to Emery. When do we ever listen to Emery? Listen to Emery. Emery. Emery, I do. <laughs> that's that's a lie. It's like Your nose is yet is growing. Trying to run a romper room around here. <laughs> uh, we had some showers last night, so it's a damp, wet start. There's not much out there at the moment that radar is seeing. Uh, maybe a few sprinkles in southern Maine. You can see a shower or two moving up the mid coast to the Penobscot Bay area. Seems to be letting up in Bangor, north of town, as you head up through Orno and um, Old Town you run into a little bit more rain and then up into the county. We're now flipping from snow to rain and the plows were out not too long ago and may still be out trying to clean up these roads a little bit. They're a little slushy. Caribou's temp is 33, but everywhere else it's incredibly mild. It's around 50 degrees already, so we're going a lot higher than this as we head through the day. We're in the warm sector. This front comes through this afternoon and ends the little warm party that we're going to have tomorrow. Much colder winds will be Sort of howling tonight and tomorrow morning out of the northwest, which is going to tap that Canadian cold. Showers are passing. It's damp and wet. And I noticed, and so did Lee and Sharon too, on their drive into work, just a ton of leaves now. Uh, like underneath all of the oak trees, there's a lot of oak leaves right on the road. Some of those late passing maples as well have all the leaves on the road. So be careful driving around this morning. Midday clouds begin to break up. We get some sunny breaks and it'll be abnormally warm. The breeze will continue, however, and then the front passes early this evening, four to six o'clock. There could be a brief downpour as it does. Then we clear out behind it and that's when the wind swings into the northwest and it begins to really crank. It gets even gustier this evening and tonight and by tomorrow morning it drops the temperatures down to about 32. So any leftover moisture would freeze up and there might be some frost or some slick spots out there. 55 to 60 degrees. You kidding me? Not a record, but still really warm about 10 degrees above average. Bangor gets to 56 and 60 in Portland. Even up north we will do some melting caribou 47 and rangely 50. Uh, late in the week, we are going to see another system move in. Tomorrow's going to be fine, though. Sunny, just a little blustery and cold. And then Thursday into Friday, this system comes at us really ragged and in pieces. Here's piece number one for Thursday. Enough cold air around so that many of us will probably have our first flake sighting. I don't think it amounts to really anything, but it might mix with some raindrops or there might be one or two floating around. There could be like a little bit of snow film on the grass, perhaps in a few towns too. Friday cold front passes with flurries, especially in the mountains, and then it's cold over the weekend. But I like the way the weekend's looking. The wind should settle. High pressure builds in. We're getting a lot of sunshine this weekend and with calmer winds and temps in the mid 40s that qualifies as some good November weather, especially on a weekend. Here's the snow expected for Thursday. Again, not a lot, a coating to an inch in the mountains and, you know, maybe evidence of snow in a few spots elsewhere. It's just more that a lot of us will see the first flake or two on Thursday. Gale warning seas five to eight winds gusting out of the southwest 35 knots. These showers end. We see partial clearing. It's breezy. It's mild 60 tomorrow. Much, much colder by about 20 degrees 42 with wind also and sun and then rain and snow showers are likely on Thursday. Upper 30s close to 40, 40 to 5 to 50 on Friday, partly sunny and there's your weekend and it's pretty solid mid 40s. A lot of errands getting done. You know, we're still doing yard cleanup and putting away furniture and busting out holiday stuff. And it's a busy time of year. It, it totally it, it she is said. You could say that any single day of you the could, year, and but, I guess there's always something. But there's a lot on people's, you know, to-do lists, yeah. especially with, like family coming into town in, a, in, in like two weeks, right? And you do go from Halloween to Thanksgiving to Christmas, right? Gone. Yeah, bam, bam, so bam. There's a lot that happens there. Yeah, so. yeah I agree.